What's going on YouTube, Legions Gaming here. Today we're gonna to be talking about a reroll guide for Punishing Gray Raven. Now, the most important thing to know about the reroll guide for PGR, okay? PGR is Punishing Gray Raven for short, in case you guys don't know that. Um, the most important thing that you guys need to know for rerolling, number one, don't reroll. Please, for the love of God, save yourself some time. Do not reroll. <laughs> Please don't reroll. It's it, it, it takes way too long, okay? It takes like 20 minutes. Maybe you can make it a little bit faster than doing 15, but you gotta go through all these tutorials. You gotta go through the download. You gotta download the game again when you wanna restart your account. You gotta finish all of chapter one to even unlock summons. And there's just no point because you're gonna get a select ticket to choose whichever S rank character you want. And to be honest with you, they're all amazing. It, it all depends on what play style you want or what waifu or what Osbondo you want. Like literally, they all play really, really good. And even some of the A ranks that you can get are actually amazing. So I'm gonna show you guys how long it actually takes. I'm gonna speed some of this stuff up to unlock summons. I'm gonna time it and tell you guys how long it took me. And I'm gonna tell you, I'm gonna show you guys how to choose your character and which one I'm gonna be personally choosing. Without further ado, let's get right on with the video. <laughs> Man, that opening scene for the game is so good. I, I can't wait to actually understand the story because the story in this game looks really good. It gives me like Scarlet Nexus vibes, like hardcore, man. That's Alpha, the main character. She looks like she got beat the hell up. I want to know why. It looks like she does some kind of like, this is like what happens in the end of the game and then like she starts backtracking and stuff. Okay, I already got my keybinds set up. If you guys want, let me know in the comment section. I will make a video on my keybinds and I'll literally put them in the comment section down below. This game has um control support built in the game you don't have to do it through blue stacks so if you're playing on your phone or on your tablet this game does have um control support so you can use your ps4 ps5 i actually don't know if ps5 works yet on ios or google but you could use your ps4 or xbox controls on this or even like a uh, black bone i think it's called or backbone um those controllers you could use one of those too that works very well so it's gonna do the tutorial it's telling you to move around it's gonna tell you to get close to use your attacks it's gonna tell you to use your attack bars yada yada so i'm gonna do a separate video explaining the combat and the skills in this game because they are pretty unique um so like what you want to do is you want to try to get three of the same skills next to each other when you do that it makes a powerful version of the skill as you can see right there and you can do that right there the blue ones are usually like buffs or heals etc the yellow ones are usually like um big combo add-ons which make you do more damage or debuffs from what i've seen again i've been playing the jp version so i don't have as much knowledge as i'd want, like to but when uh global comes out which should be like six hours from now i am really hyped for that i'll be able to let you guys know a lot more stuff so we're gonna try to speed run through all of this stuff right and show you guys how long it takes uh, and don't worry about this fight chat um you're supposed to lose this fight so if you start losing that's fine you're supposed to lose this fight doesn't mean i'm not gonna want to so i guess if you want to do it faster just let her kill you that in my opinion that's the best way to do it you're supposed to lose this fight so in my opinion probably just let her attack you and get it over with instead of constantly hitting her over and over again and making her you know float in the air etc uh they want you to use the skill there you go see but i mean just this right here is taking forever and you have to let her kill you because you can't kill her this the game makes it impossible for you to kill her you can't beat her you probably could if you were like amazing at the game or you got amazingly lucky but like nah 30 health bars you barely do any damage and you're gonna run out of stamina for dodging eventually so as you can see you were supposed to lose so you can just skip through that we'll save that for when global comes out and then you finally unlock the hub it's gonna make you go over here but once you go here you can go oh like uh i thought it made me go back okay you got to do the first mission before you get the select ticket okay so it's gonna make you do the first mission and skip through this i'm skipping that because i already know all of this okay and then you got to go up to this person talk to him skip okay once you finish the first one you'll level up to level two and i think now yep now we'll be able to go back to the home screen Right here, it's gonna tell us the new character that's out. She's a tank, she's brand new. The summer event just ended. Okay, and then we're gonna grab these real quick. It's gonna make us level up too, probably. Nope, we didn't level up yet. Okay. All right, now you're gonna go to your mailbox. 
Okay, this is the select ticket right here. S select. So you get to choose any S character in the game. Uh, well, they give you a, a certain amount of S characters to choose from. Uh, I will tell you personally which one I went for because I, don't, I just love her outfits and she gets really cool outfits. So that's the one that I chose. So then to use it, then to use it, you're going to go down to this menu. I don't know what it's going to say on global, but I just know that it's this one right here. You're going to choose the select ticket. Then it gives you these five characters to choose from. So you got the two husbandos. He uses a pistol. I believe he uses a sword as well. She uses some ranged like floating guns that attack with her. She's the one I'm going for. She is the chainsaw waifu as well. As you guys have seen, she has like the roller blades on her. She's pretty good as well. I in my, it, it all depends on who you want to play. You can look at the characters once you go to this menu here. You can look at them if you want and see what they look like, see their kits. You can see what kind of costumes they have, etc. You can, uh, so we got this guy right here and then him right here uses a great sword. I don't think he has anything special for weapon designs or anything. Nope, he doesn't have anything yet. And this is JP, which is like seven months, I think, ahead. Then you have her right here. This is who I'm personally choosing. This is the A rank version of her. We're gonna go for the S rank, which is right over here. So this is the one I'm getting. She has some really good designs or really good outfits. I love her summer outfit. I love this like cherry blossom one. It's so good. And she's going to be really good in co-op because she's got some ranged abilities. And she also, um, her A rank or her B rank version of her does heal. I think this version of her uh, causes like a debuff that makes you do more damage from what I've seen. Puts like an AOE around them, makes them do more damage. And then this girl, okay, she's not the, the girl I was thinking of with the rollerblades and a chainsaw. She's the rocket girl. Her outfits are really sick too. You can make the gun look like a um, fire, you know, a Japanese firework thing, a launcher for fireworks. Um, she's got some really, this is her summer design. She's got some other designs here, man. Like all, of, look at these high heels, man. Like, oh my God, this game looks so good. The characters look so good. I cannot wait for glow. I'm going to play this game so much. I, I'm going to refresh so much, man, just to go far in the game. I think she's a choosable character as well. Oh, no, I was right here. Uh, she Okay, so Chainsaw Girl is one of the characters you can choose. Yeah, I was I was correct. So her outfit, she's got like a Christmas outfit too. She's like, oh man, all their outfits look. So look at these boots, man. That looks sick. Oh, I can't wait. And she's got like a candy cane kind of thing design, Christmas design going for that. So man, it, like I said, it all depends on who you want to pick. I myself, I love this character and the way she plays. So I'm choosing her. She's going to be the one I choose. You can look at everything that like what her kit is, etc. Well, that's who I'm choosing right there. So you choose her and you get her automatically. Now, the next thing I'm going to show you guys after, I'm going to fast forward the video till I have the summons unlocked and I'll come right back and show you guys. All right. So uh, let me just explain to you. The first minute of the video was an intro and then about maybe two to three minutes talking about the select, probably not even that, talking about the select ticket and the characters minus the four minutes there i have been doing this for 22 minutes so to unlock summons it took me 22 minutes i do not recommend at all to re-roll i'm telling you man it's, it's just not worth it so the what you're going to do when you unlock summons right you get to select an a rank that you can pull so on pulls you can select what a rank you're going to get you get an a rank guaranteed every 10 pulls so every 10 pulls you're guaranteed a rank if you played mha it's kind of like that except when you pull an s rank in this game it does not reset the a rank counter so you're still going to get an s rank and the counter for a rank will still be there now the only time right where i tell you if you want to re-roll go ahead right Here's the thing. You're not going to get a S rank on your first 10 pull unless you're really lucky. Okay. So on the first banner, it's 40, 40 summons only and to hit pity. You can't select the S rank, right? J for this banner only, you can't select the S rank. All the other banners, you can select what S rank you want, right? So you can't select one. You get a random S rank out of all these characters. So what I recommend doing first, okay? Do your four multis on here first see who you get and then choose your character through the the ticket because uh, you're not going to want to get the same character twice you're going to be pretty upset if you do that unless you're going to wail and pull for dupes so if you wanted to get two s ranks at the start you could do that but again it's going to be very unlikely it takes you 20 something minutes to get to this point you could not even get a s rank so you could be doing this 
like 10 times or or more before you even get an s rank and and that's just a lot of time wasted in my opinion where you could just keep progressing through the story and hit pity or even get you know get unlock another multi and and hit another character you know what i'm saying so I, in my opinion not worth it now you go to the other banners right you got this banner that's the select banner you get to select which s rank you want right here okay so the way the banners work there's a a third banner right which i don't recommend summoning on this banner at all in my opinion so the pity is higher and the the way it works is you're like guaranteed a higher chance to get these characters instead of a random because i think on the second one here you're still get, like there's still a chance of you not getting these characters uh so it's like 70 percent chance of you getting these two and then on the third one uh well, from what i'm seeing it's just like a more guaranteed chance of getting them but in my opinion it's still better to get to do the the second banner the third banner it takes a lot more to pity it's 80 to 100 and the second banner is literally only 60. yeah so it's literally only 60. so in my opinion the second one is way better to go for and then of course you're gonna have the one that's locked level 52. i don't know which one that is and uh, there is a weapon banner and there are going to be some points in the game where you're probably going to want to pull for weapons just like genshin the weapons are used across multiple characters it's not locked to certain characters so you will be able to use these weapons on other characters so in my opinion like i said i don't think you should re-roll of course there's still going to be you know people that want to re-roll people that want to min max and try to get the best star as much as possible just know that you are going to be doing it for a very very long time unless you get extremely lucky so do at your own risk okay in my opinion i'm just gonna i want to play the game okay i want to play the game and i'm probably gonna spend money on this game because it's costumes and i want i want to spend money on this game this game looks amazing so thank you guys so much for watching this video i hope this video helped you guys out on choosing whether you wanted to roll or not in my opinion just go with whatever character you like the most they are all very good in the selection ticket all those characters are very very good and have their own play styles so whatever play style you like to play if you like range if you like up close and personal if you like fast combat you like slow combat that does a lot of damage with the great sword etc so in my opinion just choose whatever character you want but wait until you do the you know the four step to get the 40 pity on that banner and see what random s rank character you get thank you guys so much for watching this video hit that like button subscribe if you haven't already and ring that notification bell to be notified as soon as videos like this go up i'm gonna be doing a lot of guides on this game because there's a lot to this game from what i've been seeing in the japanese version there's so many boss fights so many events mini games character combos there's so much this game i'm really excited to make content for this game so and feel free to join the discord if you want to do some co-ops want to meet some new people we have over 500 600 members in our discord and we always have people on a voice chat if you're if you're wanting to hop in voice chat and talk to some people about this ask any questions so thank you guys so much for watching i'll see you guys at release date we will be streaming live on twitch don't forget to go follow us on twitch we will probably be streaming also on youtube we'll see anyway go follow on twitch We'll be waiting. We'll be doing a stream, waiting for the game to release, and I can't wait. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you on the next video.